Hey Facebook, my name is Greg, I'm Midtown's Marketing and Events Manager and I am here with John, the Digital Manager. And today we're just going to talk very quickly about some very exciting news that came out of San Diego Comic Con 2016. It is 2016, right? What year is it? 2016. Okay, right. good. Just You're checking. Good. <laughs> um, yeah, so Marvel Netflix, they're doing some very exciting stuff and they dropped a teaser for Daredevil Season 3. Yes. Uh, the Defenders, mm -hmm. Iron Fist, and Luke Cage. All very exciting stuff. Uh, so Luke Cage, why are you excited for that show? Did you not see the trailer? <laughs> I didn't. Awesome. I'm just here to learn. No. 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 Yeah, yeah, it, it really looked awesome. awesome. Um, it's a New York-based show, obviously. Mm -hmm. If you saw any of the little bit of inclination that was in Jessica Jones, he finally gets his own show. And the trailer is awesome. Mm -hmm. Completely action-packed. And they loop it with uh, Wu-Tang's Baby I Like It Raw, so that just made it perfect. I am so looking forward to this. Yeah, it, it was a great way to sell us on it. I mean, it was, the action was awesome. I mean, the dude's a freaking powerhouse, so it was really fun to watch. And uh, I, I'm surprised. One thing, the show's not far away. It's July. The show comes out in September. Yep. I was expecting something more kind of like a highlight reel mm -hmm. of a general premise of, I mean, in the end, he says, like, he's going to be the hero of Hell's, or of Harlem, excuse me. I'm so used to saying Hell's Kitchen. Right. Which is, like, how many blocks in New York? Uh, roughly. Four? Yeah, it's it's, like a, it's a it's small square. Yeah, but yeah, square. okay. <laughs> Daredevil's guys work that out for him. But oh, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was still it was a great way to sell us on. As we know, Mike Mike Coulter, he does yeah. a great job as the character, which we saw in Jessica Jones. And this just uh, sold us on the fact that dude is so awesome. He's you know being shot by assault rifles, and he's just like he's no a big deal. He's not even like nothing. Yeah, he, it doesn't even appear to tickle him. He kicks down doors. It was it was a very fun way to sell us, and I hope that the story is just as good as the action. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, in addition to that, getting an Iron Fist teaser trailer. So that was really cool, because that's still this. in production here in the city. Yes, it is. Um, some of the guys here, they actually uh, stumbled upon the production. Sebastian, who's holding the phone right now, he, uh, <laughs> over in Chinatown, Sebastian and Jay, they were looking for Pokemon, and instead they found Iron Fist. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty cool. The funny thing is, too, that some of the production is actually happening, or was happening, right down the street by Port Authority mm -hmm. at one point. Yeah, so Iron Fist, if you want to prepare for it, do yourself a favor. That. You have to read this. The Immortal Iron Fist. It is an amazing run. It is not just one of the best Iron Fist comics, it is definitely one of the best comics you'll ever read. I know that's like raising the bar really high, but it's that good. Just please trust me on this. Give it a shot. As you can see, we have the collections here. Uh, they're not available in store. Check online. Uh, you gotta read it. It's, it's, it's so good. Give it a shot. And as you can see here, a new Luke Cage collection also came out, if you want to prepare for the show. This came out on Wednesday recently, and it collects a bunch of issues. And one thing I want to show you is it collects a back issue that may get you a little more hyped for the Defenders. Let me just get here. I'm being as delicate as I can with the cover. <laughs> as you can see here. Nice little team up against Purple Man. Uh, I'm not going to drop any spoilers. Obviously, the roster is going to be different, and the defenders and the villain Slightly. will likely be different as well. <laughs> but there's still hope for Moon Knight. Yeah. I think I'm thinking after the defenders, we know Daredevil season three is going to happen. Yes, because they announced a teaser for that. It was just a cool little way to get us even more excited. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking post defenders. That's when we'll get into Punisher. Hopefully, Moon Knight will get into like a Marvel Knights kind of phase. That would be awesome. I think that would be great. Um, but yeah, The Defenders. Very quick, simple teaser for that with yes. some Nirvana in the background, but it's still got us really excited. So yeah. why are you excited for The Defenders? It's a child's dream come true. If you're a fan of any of these guys, they're all going to be together on one TV. So why not? <laughs> you know? Yeah. And um, I thought the real cool thing was the way they put it all together uh, on the mm -hmm. teaser, putting basically using the... Uh, the titles from all the different characters and yes. putting it right in the Defenders and then of course you have uh, Stick you have Stick yes. turning around saying you know, what was it the, you, the, you think the four of you can uh, you can't even save yourself yeah you're yeah. gonna save this city yeah. you can't even save yourselves yeah. that you was think? it I was like okay I'm in <laughs> yeah I'm thinking there um, Daredevil season 3 is gonna be presumably after the Defenders that's what I've heard yeah. Uh, yeah so I'm thinking Defenders what would it take to get this group of people together I'm thinking it'll be uh, kind of like how Iron Man set off the Marvel Cinematic Universe and he's been a key player in it I'm thinking the same will be true for Daredevil in this case it'll be Kingpin forming some kind of alliance with a hand and then we have a, a bigger arc that's kind of inspired by Born Again right. which is a great comic go read it um, let's not forget Luke Cage's villain either 
Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I and can see them all coming together. Absolutely. What a perfect reason to get all these guys together and rock and roll. And even from Jessica Jones, we have Frank Simpson, a.k.a. Nuke in the comics. Yep. He's part of this government program. And uh, Nuke plays a role in Born Again. He's, he's a big threat, and uh, I think it would be just so cool if Kingpin teaming up with the Hand. Yeah. That's a huge threat for the entire city, and it would take all the joining forces to take them on. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, well, well, oh, and then there was the sizzle reel kind of teasing everything Marvel as doing with Netflix, and it ends, of course, with John Bernthal as Frank the Punisher, Castle. and yes. that's, that's confirmed for uh, a post Defenders that yes. he's going to get his own show. Yep. That's awesome. Uh, I don't know how many times I've used the word awesome, but I mean it every single time. About uh, 27 right now. Uh, okay. Let's go for 28. Go Frank for John Bernthal as Punisher was awesome. Yeah. I think I think his origin story, they kind of made it a little more complicated than it had to be, mm. but he did a great job with the role. Uh, clearly, they have a good plan with the character. Yeah. I'm just I'm so excited. Me too. Yeah. And talking about that, you also have... Oh. The must-read Punisher comic. If you've yeah. never read a Punisher comic before, there's many great options out there. There's uh, Punisher Max, several other things. Uh, Garth Ennis is one of the biggest Punisher writers. And uh, welcome back, Frank. you got to read it. Join forces with Steve J Excuse me, Steve Dillon, Jimmy Palmiotti. It's a very fun comic. Uh, let me give you just a small sample. If you saw Daredevil Season 2, you're about to get a little bit of deja vu. Yeah. So that's a little bit of deja vu for you. So you can see where Daredevil Season 2 pulled some of its inspiration. And hopefully, being as spoiler-free as possible, we get some more Electra in either The Defenders or Daredevil Season 3. Yeah, Especially hopefully. if the hand plays a big role. That would be fun. Maybe, maybe Bullseye as well. I would love to see Bullseye. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be very cool. But yeah, uh, we are thoroughly excited. Um, seems like everyone else here is really excited. Let's let's turn to the store manager for a second, Jay. This guy. How do you feel about uh, Marvel's? <laughs> that's just a permanent expression of happiness. That is how he feels about the Marvel Netflix. <laughs> Very excited. Very excited for it. <laughs> <laughs> the joys of Facebook Live. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah. If you wanna prepare for any of these shows, please know that we have a huge selection. Of collections as well as merchandise with these characters. Bye bye bye. Uh, no, but really, there's a lot of great stories. Yeah, we're also going to put up the trailers on Facebook, so mm -hmm. I'm sure everybody saw them already. Yeah. You will be seeing them come in periodically throughout the day, and plus mm -hmm. any other SECC news, we're going to throw out there too. We'll do our best to keep on top of it. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.